Hey, so you're looking to uh, filter your conversations table, which has an array of uh, table references to users, which we're calling members. And you basically want to um, filter that table uh, based on inputting the members in a conversation. Um, so you, you're basically looking for an array of users uh, that are matching uh, in this array in your conversations table. Um, so what we can do, um, actually pretty easy here, is we can use this contains operator. So um, we can just easily take the uh, conversation.members array, as you can see with these brackets here. And then we can hit this operator and use contains um, and then select the input. Um, and I'll go ahead and just show you real quick what something like that might look like. Um, so let's go ahead and do one, three, five here. And we should get, uh, looks like two conversations back. So it looks like this ID two has one, three, five, and also four. Um, and then this ID three has just one, three, uh, and five. Um, however, this is different than, um, say, the in operator, because the in operator won't be as um, exclusive as uh, this operator. So in will often um, will just match an array that uh, contains any of the values uh, in your input here, uh, whereas contains is going to be more exclusive. It's going to be better for um, just exact matches. So go ahead and say we're looking for five and six. Uh, we should get back a, a single record. And my video is just slowing down uh, my screen a little bit here. Awesome. So five, six. Um, let's go ahead. Something like three, four in here. And you'd only get conversations back where both three and four uh, are inside of them. So there you go. Um, pretty straightforward. Just use the contains filter. You're able to um, pull that uh, array right off the table there. There's no reason for a bind. And then just map that up to uh, your input there.